Hello, this is Simon Redfern at Pagefield. I think uh, this week Ed Miliband's had an incredibly interesting week. Not only has he done pretty well in terms of council elections, which will really have made the, the party hierarchy incredibly happy, but also he's got something quite special happening next week in terms of Cameron and uh, Governor going up in front of Leveson. Given that Leveson's just agreed to give Cameron the evidence, and we assume this is uh, partly uh, text from Rebecca Wade and other things, um, next week's going to be a huge opportunity for the Labour leader to do his thing and to look statesman. The interesting thing about Ed is that, really, in, in government, he wasn't really that popular among um, editors or press. He wasn't really courted, he wasn't really fated by them. And actually, that's proving to be a massive strength. Uh, in opposition for him because he has no hinterland there, he has no uh, reputation that he needs to defend. So all in all, he's in a good place next week and if things go badly for the government, some really interesting things could fall out of it. Hi, this is Tom Bage from Pagefield. Um, I think the elections have been pretty good for the Labour Party, but probably not a game changer at this stage in the cycle. Uh, we're looking at a 7 or 8% swing to Labour, which is decent, but considering the last month or so that the government's had pasty taxes, uh, granny taxes, um, not to mention all of the controversy around Jeremy Hunt and Leveson, I think Labour will be slightly worried that they're not hitting the 12% swing against the government that the Tories were getting in 2008. Um, green shoots are recovering in the South of England. It's good for the Labour Party to be winning in places like Southampton, Plymouth, Great Yarmouth was a good result, uh, and also in Essex. But still not the kind of comprehensive knockout for Ed Miliband that he'd wanted. And obviously, uh, although I think the race in London for mayor is going to be closer than some have predicted, um, I still think Boris Johnson uh, is going to win, and that's disappointing for the Labour leadership, particularly when uh, the Labour Party are out polling the Tories in London by about 15%. So, some encouraging signs for Ed Miliband, uh, but no evidence, I think, that he's really sealed the deal with the electorate.